Today I want to talk about cases and what to look for in them. Many people don't understand the differences between case designs and also what makes proper airflow. A common misunderstanding is more case fans equals better airflow and cooling. However, that is not always true. Case fans are designed to intake cooler air in and then also exhaust warm air out. People often overlook how power supply, processor, and graphics card fans affect case cooling. With that said, cases are usually designed with either positive or negative pressure systems, which I'll be talking to you about next. Here we have a positive pressure case from Silverstone called the Fortress 2. You'll notice that it doesn't have very many obvious vents or mesh openings. This is to help control airflow so that the only intakes are from the three large fans on the bottom versus the single dedicated exhaust fan on top. The combination of good case seals and a large number of intake fans keeps this case pressurized like a balloon so that all the hot air will be pushed out of any available vent, including graphics card, top exhaust fan, and power supply. This in turn helps control dust by minimizing cleaning to the intake fan filters here. Positive pressure cases generally are a little more expensive because they need to be designed well and have good air seals. However, more cases are designed with negative air pressure, like this Corsair 650D case. You'll notice on the outside it looks very similar to the Silverstone case, but there are some subtle differences when you look inside of it. You'll notice that it only has one large intake fan versus four different exhaust fans from the power supply, graphics card, rear exhaust fan, and large top exhaust fan. This will create a vacuum effect because the exhaust fans are pushing more hot air out than the intakes can push cold air in. Most pre-built computers like this also have negative pressure. In the front, you don't have any obvious intakes, but there are side vents and also rear exhaust vents. When we look on the inside, there are a lot of cables blocking airflow, and actually no intake fan. The only fans that we have are two direct cooling fans on the graphics card and processor, plus one rear exhaust fan and a power supply exhaust fan. But the question is, is this enough cooling for this kind of computer? In most situations, it actually is because most people don't push the computers to its limits. And this computer can get away with no front intake fan because of negative pressure. The power supply and rear exhaust fan will do a good enough job of drawing cold air from the front and side vents. However, this gaming style computer will need more cooling because it will be running at high performance for many hours at a time. The two front intakes provide dual functions by pulling air in and direct cooling the hard drives for extended use. CPU coolers also highly affect airflow because of their size and also because its high speed fans move a lot of air throughout the case. So which is better, negative or positive pressure cases? Well, if price is not a concern, then I would have to say positive pressure cases since it pushes the dust out and also reduces the strain on all the exhaust fans. Um, however, just know that negative pressure cases are less expensive and are a lot more common. The way you can tell it's a negative pressure case is if it has more exhaust fans than intake fans, or if there's a lot of vents on the case, or if the entire front is made out of mesh. So what is the right case for you? Well, there is no easy answer for that. But as long as you can fit all your components, you like the way the case looks, and it has at least one dedicated intake fan and also one dedicated exhaust fan, then you should be all right. Just know that warmer ambient temperatures around the computer means you probably need more fans to help cool it down. Also, dusting off your case interior and fans once in a while will help keep it running more effectively. So, hope that helps you decide in what case to pick for your computer.